Samantha, I never thought I would be domesticated and have a stable life. I feared it because I thought it would be stifling, because you have introduced a new freedom to my life that I had never known before. In this stability, I have experienced a life I could never have anticipated. I do not know what I would do without you, Bella, Jake, or Bonnie. I still remember my original vows for you when our relationship first began. It is a surreal experience to have changed so vastly in such a brief period of time, and I can never thank you enough for supporting me through all that turbulence. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark, whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. You make me a better teacher, a better parent, a better partner, and a better person. I can make no assurances for the future but one. I know that I will only love you more with each passing day. Lucas, I cannot explain what it means to be standing here with you today. We first met about ten years ago in a French class in college. You had your ponytail, athletic shorts and t-shirt, big glasses, and that serious look on your face. If you had told me then where we would end up, I wouldn't have believed you. Later, after you cut your hair and started wearing contacts, we became friends and started dating. One night at your apartment at Bear Village, there was a bad storm outside, and the tornado sirens were wailing, but you decided to take off your shirt and go for a run. I remember thinking you were crazy, but beautiful. Unfortunately, the timing was never right. We graduated and moved and saw other people. When I moved back home from Massachusetts to work at UCA, I found out that you were there too, teaching in the English department, and I asked you to get coffee with me. And now we have been together for four years. I have so many happy memories with you. Taking road trips in your old pickup, having carpet picnics in our old apartment, discussing our favorite books, talking about our students, and more recently, moving into our house, getting Jake and then Bonnie, and bringing Bella into our family. Now I have today to add to that list. In that time, we have also faced innumerable challenges. We always faced them together, and we always chose each other, no matter how hard it was. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world, my true. And it's you, or whatever a moon is always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root, and the bud of the bud, and the sky of the sky of a tree called life which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. Today, I promise to choose you every day, to keep choosing you through laughter and tears for the rest of my life. You are my favorite person, and I love you. Can I be close to you?